all right video hydraulic hose woes hydraulic hose woes Got my final drive and track and I'll put back together yesterday and then I decided I was going to be proactive and take these two horrendous looking hydraulic hoses off because they look like they're going to fly apart at any minute. So I took them apart, took them to town to be repaired and of course the repair that we do at town isn't quite the same thread. So close. Oh, I'm learning a lot about thread types. So, we're going to put the old hoses right back on. And yesterday, I'll tell you here what happened, but yesterday I took the hoses in with me and we matched up the threads, we thought. But the problem is, the threads were very, very close, but just weren't quite the same. One of them has a very slightly different taper. So we used a sample fitting to check it and it felt right, but we didn't thread it all the way on. So I get home and I go to put the new hoses in and they both start like one thread and then lock up like they're trying to cross. Now I didn't fight it, so hopefully I didn't damage my threads here. But this machine I guess just because it's foreign. It doesn't have a lot of JIC fittings and it's not pipe thread. It's got these British connections. I'll show you here. So this is a British. Hopefully you guys can see what I can see. This is a British. It's got this little kind of shoulder inside here and there's an O-ring down inside there and this is your swivel. This on the other end looks a lot like a British. It's got this really, really thick shoulder. We say that's a boss fitting, but this is a, it's not a boss fitting. We put on boss fittings because that's what we thought it was and that's what it's, it started up as. It's a British standard parallel pipe, BSPP. Really, really close to British and really, really close to boss, but not either one. So, the shop that I went to that normally, normally they have everything I need. That's why I go there, even though I don't care for the history with the shop, per se. They normally have the hydraulic fittings I need because they deal in a lot of foreign machines. Um, but they did not even have these. We had to, he had to call his distributor to even figure out what they were. Which would make me want to switch if I could. I'll get that one started. Oh, I don't know why I'm starting that on there. I'm such an idiot. So, get that started back in there. I really need to start Rosie today and run her for a while and test out that new final drive. Which is why I was so frustrated yesterday when I did this, because all I wanted to do was start and run the machine to test the final drive, and then I went and pulled these hoses off, and then I turned around and left them at the sh shop. Normally I bring all my old hoses home with me, but I thought, oh, we got it. So I left them. So I didn't even have the old ones. Didn't even have the old ones put back on. So reading up on this British Standard parallel fitting, it um, it is not a liquid tight thread or a pressure tight thread. So that's why it has that O-ring on the base of it. That's what your actual seal is 
So we'll just bump it up there. It should be all it takes since it's got the O-ring. You shouldn't have to really torque the tar out of it, which these suckers were on here hard. I don't know if somebody repainted this machine at some point in time or if these are original hoses. I can't hardly imagine that these are original to the machine. But who knows? Who knows? From the looks of it, they could be. Same thing, so this is actually British on this end, but it's not the British parallel pipe. It's just British standard thread, BST, not BSPP. Mm. That one's good. Let's get this one on, slightly larger, <sighs> dirtier. I've got some this is actually electrical cleaner, but it'll work to blast stuff out of those threads. And don't let me forget to tighten up that block. Oh, yes. How scared these things might be hard to thread up just from me messing with it yesterday. I, I, like I said, I didn't. I didn't put a whole lot of torque on it, pretty much just as soon as it locked, I stopped. But I pushed a little harder just to see if maybe it wasn't just a little burr and it would push past it. But when they both did it the same way, then I realized something was wrong. <clears throat> now... Tighten these down. <clears throat> Same thing. You don't have to kill yourself. There's an O-ring in there. I really like these hydraulic connections, these flat face with the clamp. Now switch over because the one on this back bracket is just a little bit smaller. Make sure my O-ring is still in there, although it's filthy. Same thing, let's clean that off. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! <laughs> I was doing so good. This is actually need to loosen this back side up a little bit. Not that I can set that in there a little easier. There it goes. I'll go ahead and start that one in and then we'll jump down and grab that one we dropped. Yeah, I really like these, these flat face clamp o-ring fittings like that because it takes out the it takes out the struggle of trying to have a huge wrench to break a connection loose it takes it down to smaller smaller tool size and so less horsepower required on my end especially when you're working in tight quarters you can't get your big old wrench in there sometimes just all around easier to work with yeah you got to take loose four connections instead of one or four bolts instead of one but Got a lot of room on that one. Need to put my extension on, but just about there now. 
these bolts have actually got a lock washer on them too. So you don't even have to torque them super tight thinking that they might work themselves loose. Okay, that one's done. That's done. I think, did we finish that one? I don't remember if we finished. I know I finished both those. I feel like I didn't finish this one. Oh, maybe I did. Yep, it's on. Okay. Old hose is back on. Hooray! <laughs> Heck of a repair. So the shop had, um, he didn't have these fittings at all. He had a special order. So I left the other hoses with him. He said he was going to cut this collar without cutting the hose. We shall see. Um, to reuse the hoses as they were, and then he'll just put on the proper fittings. So hopefully, might even do it for free since it was their guy that picked out the wrong threads. I mean, yeah, I was there and helped him, but anyway. Hopefully we're done spending money because these puppies were over $100 each. There's nothing cheap about hydraulic hoses, especially a four braid. So we're at a net, a net zero here on these hours of work and driving to town. But let's just hope it works because I'm ready to fire this girl up and drive over here and just play in the dirt for a while. I need to, I want to, I'm itching to. Got a little bit more hydraulic oil in it, but... Get all my tools cleaned up and uh, we done.